Okay, folks, the uh, reason I'm going to make this video is to help all of you with logging into Shaw Cable and then logging into the television service provider Blue Curve. Um, purpose of this is to save you a call to Shaw Customer Service. Uh, basically, I'm just doing this because I spent 45 minutes unsuccessfully getting this problem resolved, and I found out that there are two logins, not just one login. You need to log in once to SHA and then once to Blue Curve, and then you're good. Uh, I had two separate passwords, so I thought I would just clarify that if someone else out there is running into the same issue, don't worry, you're not alone, and now I'm gonna try to help you. So with that said, I'm gonna start sharing my screen, and then you can follow what I mouse over and my keystrokes. There you go, thanks. Okay. All right. So I think the best way to start this out is to go onto Google as your launch pad. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you just the quickest way to get into the blue curve service for Shaw. And then I'll just go in and show you where to go. Then I'm going to show you a place where I went wrong. And I think a lot of people do go wrong at and uh, this way it'll clarify that you only have to do the, the login from the blue curve once you download the app. And it can be downloaded on Windows, um, anything with Mac, any, any computer at all. So all you really have to do is Google blue curve login. And that brings up the blue curve TV app. So we'll click on that. And then it brings up this prompt that just says watch now. I've already downloaded the app, so I'm good. I'll click watch now. And then it gives you a few options. Um, it gives you like a download from the Apple Store, so you can put it on you know, any, any device you might have, like an iPhone or a pa an iPad. Um, I'm gonna just watch online. And then it just connects. So once this buffers and we see all the um, movies and things for on-demand watching come in, you know, I'm really more interested in watching the uh, live TV. So if I just click on live TV, I just go to all channels. And then it'll just give us a listing and a directory. And I'll click on anything here. We'll, we'll click on... Sportsnet Central, just so you guys can see. And then we'll click watch. A little more buffering. Um, but once it brings us to this, it essentially just allows us to watch TV. The uh, piece that I'm going to do the next part of this is going to be just the the Shaw login and really the interface oh, you can hear that kind of starting to activate once I see the picture there it is so I'll just close that down what I was saying is the other part I'm going to go into is and this is where I went wrong initially was just the the login for Shaw to manage my account you know to pay my bills to see how much I owe things of that nature this is not the place you go to watch TV. Um, this is the place you go to manage your account. So the Blue Curve TV app is where you go to watch TV, and the SHA sign-in for online is, is here instead. This doesn't really link you up to the TV, but uh, you can you know just use it for your other services. Um, it does say free your TV with the Blue Curve TV app. So this is where you actually would go to download the Blue Curve TV app, and then you go into the Blue Curve TV app separately like I did in step one. So that's all I really wanted to do tonight. Just show you how to do that and save yourself 45 minutes at uh, Shaw customer service or with the virtual attendant. I figured a five minute video would be much better than that. So enjoy and thank you. Bye.